Well, hello everybody, it's Bella here from Rachel Bella Crafts and I was just coming down now uh, this morning to do a little bit of um, playing, I would say. I would say. Uh, we've had the builders in next door in in our new house now and we've settled in and now the builders have settled in right next door to my craft room window. So yesterday I couldn't record because they were drilling. But it's got to be done, so I'm just going to pop in and out when I can, okay? So I hope you're all well. Thank you all for your lovely comments. And I just thought I'd pop on and let you know that I'm okay. And um, the weather has been phenomenal. Absolutely ridiculous yesterday. Um, if you've watched my daughter's uh, video, Rachel Bernard, she was nearly passing out with the heat. I didn't even attempt to make a video yesterday. Um, but it's really nice and cool this morning and I'm just going to make a couple of uh, pretties. Okay, so I thought I'd take you along with me. I haven't even turned my lights on yet, so let's do that. There, that's better, isn't it? And um, I've just made this one and I've just glued it all down. So I'm hoping it's going to stay on there. And I've stitched that to the um, cheesecloth underneath and then I've glued it onto that. I've just made myself a little flower and I've already put one in my journal, which I'll show you in a bit. So that's there. And I made that with this ribbon. OK, so you've seen me make those before. I've got to make quite a few more to take to the retreat. So that's going to be my next job, making those. So I'm just going to glue this on and hopefully it will stay on. But you never know, do you? You just don't know when you're using synthetics what's going to happen now is there a right way or a wrong way with this i know that's the right way but does it matter i don't think it does no so i'm just going to glue it down there make sure it's in the middle of let me turn it around then i can see because i can always chop a bit off there that's that's it that's lovely i'll just get my little scissors and i shall just do that and hopefully that will stay on Hopefully, I'm going to put a piece of paper over the top just to press it down. And I think that looks really pretty, don't you? Just adds another dimension to the little, um, it's not a cluster, it's bigger than a cluster, but it's a little frill. All right, so that's the second one. I've got one more over here. And I made these. Um, when I was, uh, after I'd watched G Kerr's, uh, where she did them on the piece of paper, I, I think I told you about that. I think that would be nice on there too. So let's do that as well. Why not? I say to myself, why not? I'm going to do it that way because the ruffles are going that way. So I'm going to go with the ruffles. Okay. So I'm hoping this glue is going to stick. If not, I'm going to have to get some uh, three in one, which I hate using because I can't sleep. But never mind. Nobody sleeps in the hot weather, do they? I did last night. I had a wonderful night last night, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. So the builders are quiet at the moment, so they've been shoveling out all their rubble this morning so I was waiting for that to stop before I started recording and um, now that's how it's going to go now can I go on a page like that I could even have stitched across there but this is so pretty I didn't want to disturb these flowers all right so that's why I haven't stitched those so that's that one okay and I'm going to make are they pretty oh I love those all right so I've got some bits and bobs I've got some flowers and I made made this to go on my daughter's envelope. And I said, can I please have it back? And she ripped it off and she <laughs> gave it back to me. What are we crafters like, I tell you? But she knows, she understands. So that was that. So that went on her envelope um, for her birthday. Let me just pop that on there a minute. So that's one. Where am I going to put these now? Now I'm reaching over to my cake stand that I showed you the other day. And I'm going to put those down there so you can see them because they're rather pretty. Yes. 
Now let's make another one. So, oh, I was going to, no, I'll show you that at the end because I've got to move my iPad out of the way. I'm going to make another one of these. Look at this. And Rachel has had half of this as well. And I bought it on, um, where did I buy it? Probably on eBay, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll make this a little bit wider because it could be a nice belly band, couldn't it? Not sure what I'm going to use these for. They may go in my shop or they may not. We'll see. We'll see. Now, I had something out. Yes, I got a butterfly this time. So, but I was going to put that on there. But I think that would be, or I could even put that on there. Now, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm not going to paint that um, gold because we've got a lot of gold here. And if you look, there's some glitter on this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a dry throat. It's early in the morning. Well, I say early, 10 o'clock. I'm usually um, just getting in the shower at this time of the day because um, we're late birds. We tend to go to bed late, but I think that's quite nice. What do you think? Sometimes you can, you know, less is more, isn't it? So let's glue that on there. And I think that will do nicely. I'm hoping this is going to glue. We shall see, we shall see. So if you've got any bits and bobs, let me try and get that in the center if I can. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let me see, what do you think? Yes, I like that. And that would make a nice belly band. But I'd have to wait for that to dry because it's very sticky on the back. That's why I'm pressing it around the page to get the glue off the back there. All right, you can see I've torn it off the envelope or a screech. But I shall show my daughter and say nothing is wasted in this house. She knows that anyway. Now, I hope you're all well and wherever you are, what kind, whatever kind of weather you're having, the Brits always talk about the weather, don't they? Um, is suiting you at the moment. So we got that one, we got this one. That's my little, um, look at this, isn't it sweet? It's got little hearts on it. So cute. <clears throat> right, what's next? There's that one, there's that one. Now what I could do, I've got more of this. I'm not gonna need all these from my journal I'm making at the moment, the boho one. But what I would like to do is make some for my next journal. And it's going to be, let me think now. So it's one, two, three. I think four will be enough because I'm not going to make a huge one. And I'm going to make it really, really bright and cheerful. I know I'm using pink again, but never mind. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Mm. I've actually finished my craft room. I am so thrilled that my craft room is finished. It's all right. I'm looking for bits and bobs. And the only thing with this, it's, I'm going to do this over my um, my bin a moment because it's all the filled, the frayed bits. Sorry, I'll be back now. I'm just cutting off these long, hairy bits. They were all stuck to my shoe the other day. So let's see. It doesn't have to go all the way across either, does it? Threaded my needle ready. How about that then? Because if we put in, um, where's it going? This on the top, it doesn't matter if the stitches show. All right, so I'm just making a ruffle and making sure it stays put. So quiet now, now they've stopped making a noise next door is lovely and it, you know when we moved in here i don't hear a sound because the windows are excellent not like in my old house they they be shocking they let all the sound in I'm just going to cut that off now i know g Kerr uses a flame but i know if i attempt to do that <coughs> if i attempt to use um a match or anything 
I'm going to set the house on fire. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to decide whether or not this... I think I'm going to put it in the middle, actually. I'm just wondering... Now, well, let's see. I'm going to, just going to do it... As I was saying, I've tidied up my room and now I can either put that on there All the bits going everywhere, that's the trouble How brave are you? Do you use matches to stop them fraying? I have got free checks, so I could put that on there <coughs> I'm so sorry. Don't know what's the matter with me this morning. My hay fever again, I expect. I could do that, couldn't I? And then I could sew it all on. I wanted something a little bit more. Um, let me see. Special, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh yes, I think that's nice. I like that. But whether or not we're going to get... You know, this uh, collaboration is um, How Boho Can You Go? And I think a lot of us who are not um, boho orientated, we tend to go back to shabby chic, don't we? You, you can tell the... Um, the ones that are used to uh, boho because they just make it look boho whereas i'm going back to shabby chic but it doesn't really matter does it as long as it looks pretty no that's too much i'm not sure whether i like that now that's quite nice isn't it what if we do that i could stitch that on there have i got enough on my my needle, yes, there's enough left on my needle. Just pull the thread down to make a knot at the moment. I've had to monitor my blood pressure because since we've moved, my blood pressure's gone up. And uh, not surprising, mind. So my doctor, my new doctor said, I think we better, t you know, do a diary and... But the funny thing is, I take my blood pressure the first time and it's quite up. Not terribly up, but up. And I take it the second time and it goes right down. No, I mean, that doesn't make sense. So my husband seems to think that the, the monitor is uh, the battery needs changing. So that's not good, is it? It's got to be accurate, otherwise I'm telling fibs. But I feel okay. I'm, I'm not feeling ill or anything. I'm, I did get headaches, but my headaches have subsided now, so I'm pleased about that. Now I'm looking at this and wondering... Oh, well, I cut it there, didn't I? I only need one now, don't I? So let's cut that there, and we'll have some more little bits to play with. Okay. And if I wanted to, you know... I could I could stick that onto glue that onto some card or something to make it a little bit more stable. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just just catching that there. I'm gonna go into the pink now, the way it won't show so much. I could have glued it, but I think that would this would make it flatter, I think. Got to be careful I don't pull that now, otherwise I'm going to um, gather it. I've got the biggest needle I could possibly have found. Doesn't matter. Do you know, I've had so much fun with this boho journal, I just haven't been able to stop. And um, she's quite chunky. I'm looking at her now, she's up on my shelf, and I've, I've got the spine facing me. And... Um, she is 
she's, you know, she's going to be a chunky monkey, but which I don't normally uh, go for, but I really think that you can do anything with this boho and get away with it. Now, what about that? Don't you think that looks sweet? There we are, that's not going to go anywhere. And then all the mess is on the back, so you're not going to see it anyway. How fun is that? It's gathered a bit, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's fine. But this is going to drive me daft with the bits flying off it. So what are you girls doing with your, your edges? Are you are you brave enough to put the match on it or the lighter on it or the candle lighter or whatever it is you use? I think it was G that was doing it with the lighter and, and she was just and it was it looked to me as if she'd gone right up close and I thought, oh my gosh, if that was me I'd set fire to the lot. So I don't um advise you to do it that close. She's brave. She's she's very, very artistic and obviously used to it. Whereas this is new to me. Very new to me, all this boho. Now that's quite nice, isn't it? Now if I wanted to, I could put that over now look at that, look, there's a tab. I'm gonna get my journal down a minute. I'm gonna move my iPad out the way. See how chunky she is? She how gorgeous she is. I'm just making room here for her. Move my scissors out the way. A little bit of eye candy for you this morning. Look at that, I can't even shut it now. There's no way I'm going to be able to close that. But she does look lovely. You know, if you put it on the shelf like that, and then she looks fabulous. Even if I do say, say so myself. Now, I made some belly bands yesterday. And um, i done this with a little topper that I bought. Where did I put them? Hmm. Disappeared again. Oh, here. I think I showed you, actually. I bought these and they were in a strip look. So I've cut them up into uh, usable pieces. And you could even cut off these little uh, flowers. And they were, they were just glued to a card in, in my habit, local haberdashery. And I thought, oh, they'll do. So I, then I just made a little topper with, with that. See? And then that sits in there nicely. Is she pretty? As I say, this is more of a boho sh chic journal, I would say, really. So that's that. That's that. I'm looking for a page now where I can... What have I done with it? I could show you on there, actually. See, that could go over the page like that. Oh, no, doesn't that look nice? I might even put it on that one, actually. I know I've got one here. I hope you're in sh Let me just stand up for a minute. Yep, yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Um, it does look nice there, though, doesn't it, with all this lovely pinky? See if there's another page that hasn't got one opposite. Oh, I put that one on there. I don't know whether I showed you that. I don't know what I've showed you all together now. But she's coming near to the end now. I'm, I'm not going to overdress it because what if I put it... I've got, I know I've got one there, but let's see what happens if I put this one here. No, I don't like it with the yellow. Although, actually, there's gold in here. Not sure. Let's see if we can find another page. I put. I showed you that, didn't I, with the elephant and the feathers? Or the feather... The only thing with this, when I, when I sewed it in, I forgot I had this in the middle. So it's not actually in the middle. So I might even glue that down onto there so that it looks as if it's part of the page because it's driving me up the wall. Um, oh, I got one on there. Got a pretty one on there that I've done some slow stitching on. It's one of my... Um, Oh, did I show you what I did with this? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, I think I showed you that. Oh, and I, I didn't go it in afterwards. I tell you for why. That's, that was the gold one I did. 
because of the back and I didn't want to lose the back. So it'd be a shame to, to um, what did I do with that then? Oh, I'm flighty, honestly. Never mind, I'll put it all back afterwards. Oh, there it is. These old hands don't work the same. Getting old isn't funny, you know. But you have to embrace it, girls. You really have to embrace it. And boys. There we are. That's that. And I'll put that one back in after. What about... Oh, no, I've got that one on there. Somebody said they really love this one. Thank you very much. Oh, I've got a pocket here, haven't I? Ooh, I've still got space for a pot for a tab. So I've got to make some tabs and I've got space there. So I've, Rachel's got so much in the kit and, and I've been working with very little, I have to confess. Um, I've, I've just been working away with, and I tend to print it off, you know, as I'm, as I'm going to use it because otherwise I just end, end up with so many papers. So I try and use up what I've got first and then I go and print off some more, yeah? And then it's not just sitting in my drawer being wasted. And paper's expensive, so why would we do that? Now there's a little bit of pink on there. What about putting it on that one? Oh, it is sweet, isn't it? Right, I think that's a good place for that to go. Yeah, I think so. I'll do that afterwards. I'm not going to do it now. So that's that. And that's out of that. So I'll put those down there in a minute. Let's see what else we can do. Let's have a look. So we've got that one. We've got two of those. Those, that. I can go back in my little jar. Um, let me see what else. I've got this beautiful trim here, but that would be nice on, on the um, cover, wouldn't it? Now I've got this one. I'm just playing with what I've got at the moment. I've got to make sure I get this the right side. See, this here is shinier than that side. That's how I know. The fibres off this stuff is going up my nose, it's making my nose itch. So be careful when you're working with stuff like that. Especially if you have asthma or, or allergies, as I have. Isn't this lovely? Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. Oh, oh my gosh, look. You could make a whole row of that if you wanted to. Oh, isn't that adorable? I know it's similar to that, but if you were doing a shabby chic, actually, I'm going to make some of those. I'm going to do that. I am going to do it. Am I going to sew it or am I going to... Um... See, just play with what you've got. <clears throat> Get out all your lovely, um, your nicest... Get rid of that laces and frills and just start layering we could add another layer if we wanted to if i could find one i'm just going to tie a knot in that ready a second just looking what i've got up in my little cake stand it's lovely having it all there in front of me because i've moved my room around yesterday my husband put up all my paintings that i, I painted years ago they're all around my room they're not brilliant, but I love them. And um, I'm waiting for some folders to come because I've got, you know, the uh, 12 by 12 cards. I've got nowhere for them to sit on a counter flat. So I've ordered those. Uh, I think they're 12 by 12, you know, with the, um, I think it was Kerry, the crafter that showed us how to store them. And I bought some, so they're coming today. So I shall do, uh, what do you call it, a craft room tour tomorrow. And you can see how nice my craft room is looking. Now, the big question is, shall we do it all in one? But then if your hands, now this is a tip for you. If your hand stitching something on you and you're doing a, a long thing like this, bear in mind, if you cut it, this is gonna come undone. If you were doing it on the sewing machine, that would be different. 
So I'm just going to, I think I am going just to decide. I haven't got an inch, yes I have, I've got an inch ruler. So if I'm thinking of doing, um, what do you call them? A travel notebook style. I'm just getting this down a minute. This, this isn't as wide as a travel notebook. See, that's four inches, that is. That's got all my, my papers in, which I keep forgetting to use. So that probably would be about the size, actually. So if I go for three and a half, yeah, let's make them three and a half, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So that's going to be... Take that off. These aren't the best scissors, I have to say. There's so much glue on them. So there's one. Now they look like clusters, don't they? So I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to make them, because you can always cut them down, can't you? So let's work with this one a moment. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Now I can stitch them because, as I say, if I want three flowers, I think it'll be easier to cut it now rather than... That's a nice little bit there, actually. I'm going to keep that. Could go back up there. And that's going to go on there. How pretty is that? That's yummy. As Katerina would say. Do you watch Katerina Giglio? She has the most amazing channel. If you haven't seen her, go across and she does a lot of slow stitching. She makes fabulous um, paintings, collage paintings, and uh, a bit like GQ, but uh, Katerina is a professional artist. I'm not saying that GQ isn't, I don't mean that, but, you know, she has her own gallery and things like that. And she's amazing. I, I, and her husband, Don, is um, her photographer and he films everything for her but I absolutely love and my slow books which I've got on my other shelf I can't show you here they're on, all on the other shelf um, which I will be bringing to the retreat to show the girls so if you come into the retreat you'll see them but Katerina with a C uh, Giglio with a G you type in Caterina, you'll see the word Giglio, because she's Italian. She doesn't sound Italian because she lives in uh, America. But um, probably like me, I'm Spanish, but my, my grandfather was Spanish, but I can't speak uh, Spanish, unfortunately, which is a shame. But that's life, isn't it? My grandfather wouldn't teach us. He just wanted to teach my brother and my mother said, well, if you're not going to teach the girls as well, then you're not teaching him. Which really, as I've said in previous videos, was a shame because he probably would have taught us. My brother, I mean. There we are. We all make mistakes, don't we? Mum was sorry afterwards. She should have left him alone. I know it was a bit sexist then, wasn't it? But there we are. That's how it was. Well, I think that's rather nice. I like it. I like it. So find your lovely bits and bobs and make some pockets. Or, as I've just showed you, they can turn into tabs. That could be a lovely tab as well. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I am froggy, aren't I? I'm so sorry. But it's the weather. Very humid here at the moment in the UK. 
Rachel had a thunderstorm and it, <laughs> I was listening to her video and she was saying, oh, you should hear the rain. I said, yes, I can hear it. Oh, it bucketed down. Much needed rain here. You've got to laugh. We Brits, honestly, um, if we have rain, we complain. If we have snow, we complain. If we have heat, we complain. We, we just can't live with all the different contrasts. But we are, you know, we always talk about rain uh, weather, don't we, we Brits? And I think that one could go there, don't you? And if I do it singularly, I might have enough. I don't want to throw that bit away. Because I was using it double. Pull that down. Hopefully got a knot there. I think I pulled it out of the... Yeah. Oh, just caught it. Catching on my fingers. I've been gardening and, my, and not only gardening, but you'll laugh when I tell you this. I've always had a dishwasher. And because this kitchen is so small, because we've downsized, obviously, um, I couldn't bring my dishwasher, so I just left it in the in the vicarage for the next person. And uh, I'm be across my hands are in water all the time. You won't believe how much you wash up in a day. Whereas I just used to put it in the wash dishwasher and then just put it on at the end of the day. Well, I can't do that now, can I? But my hands are suffering for it. And I have got gloves, so I know what you're going to say, use gloves, but I forget. I'm always in a hurry. Plus gardening as well. It's not good, is it? And I see some beautiful um, crafters with their nails done. And I've never been one for painting my nails. I'm a bit, bit of a plain girl. And um, I look at them and I think, oh, they're lovely. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I'd rather be doing something else. But they do look lovely. I take my hat off to them. Oops, they've started next door. Right, I'll finish this one off. And then I shall love you and leave you because I think the... Yeah, they're starting to drill next door. And you don't want to hear that. So... I'm going to leave it there, folks, okay? Because the drilling is its just like being in the dentist. So thank you for watching. Here's all my lovelies. Okay, and... Um, ah, that didn't stay on. Did I glue that one on? I thought I did. Okay, well, I'll stitch that one on. No, no problem. And there's my little flower. Oh, I didn't show you the flower inside, did I? Let me just quickly show you that. Because I put it on that. Look how big it is. I put it on there, look. Isn't that sweet? So that's that. And I put one at the back, which I've got yet to make some tags. And I shall make the tags and then I'll do a flip through of the whole journal. Okay? And then uh, it should be finished. So my next video will be the tour of my craft room. And then after that, then I shall be making doing the flip through. And then that will go into my uh, coffee shop. Thank you for watching and take care everybody and love to you all. Bye for now.